This is the EDC wallet versus the crossbody wallet. This does come with the long strap. I just don't have it here in the video. I personally don't use that because I use it just strictly as a wallet. I don't wear a crossbody. You can see there is definitely a size difference. So <clears throat> if you were needing a wallet that you were putting in maybe like a smaller bag, this takes up less space. Um, it's quite a bit smaller, but it has less organization. Um, it still has a decent amount of organization. If you open that up, it has three slots, um, nice little slot here. I usually keep a um, slotted card case to keep my cards organized. And I have a little coin purse um, for like change and cash that I keep in each of these compartments. And then I use the third compartment for receipts. Um, so it's still like, for me, this is plenty big enough. Um, I can slip this in one of the slip pockets in a hobo, which is usually what I carry most. But this is still a fantastic wallet. I like organization and this baby has got organization. I'm doing this one handed, so I left this unzipped. It has this zippered pocket. Um, when you open it up, it has a ton of space inside. Lighting isn't great right now. Um, it has those three slotted compartments. I know that only looks like three slotted compartments, but each of those holds several cards. So you can actually get quite a few cards in there. Then behind, it's dark in here. Behind that is a zippered area. Again, I left this unzipped because I'm doing this one-handed, um, but it's a zippered area. Um, I put extra cards in there and business cards in there. You've got this full area here. Since I do have a slotted, um, card holder. I'll slip it from my EDC wallet right into here. Um, so anyways, this bad boy holds a lot of stuff. So if you're needing something that carries more items, this also carries more than the EDC. But there's definitely a size difference between the two. Um, both are great wallet options. Yeah. 